Hello, my name is Jack from the Southern Universities Network and today we've got a session on time management. Time management is the process of consciously planning in your time and allocating it to specific activities. This should allow you to be more efficient, effective and productive. We have designed this workshop specifically to support students that are still in education, so whether you're in school, college or higher education, this will be particularly useful for you. However, if you're someone who uh, is looking to go into the world of work or perhaps an apprenticeship, this will be also very useful for you. Time management skills are something that every person can benefit from having, so hopefully stick with the video and you'll learn a couple of tips that might help you. So there are absolutely loads of benefits that can come from having good time management and we're going to run through a couple of the top benefits. So one of the top benefits is that your assignments will be handed in on time and to a standard that you're happy with. Also it will lead to a reduced anxiety around any tests that are coming up or any uh, coursework that needs to be due in as you know that you will have the efficient skills and timetable to plan for this. It will result in an increased responsibility and independence. As you go through the education system, you will be given more and more uh, control over your own time management. So it's really important that as you go through the stages of education, you start to learn how to manage your time yourself. It will lead to uh, better decision making. So you'll have more time uh, and a better process to making those big decisions in your life, whether that's choosing to uh, go to university or get an apprenticeship or whether it's just, just choosing what you're going to have for lunch that day. As a result of planning in your time, you'll have more time to spend with family and friends. It will result in a better performance at college, school, or university, or work. And ultimately, it will result in more time to unwind and relax. So if that wasn't uh, enough good reasons to start adding time management to your life, there are a lot of disadvantages to having bad time management. So some of these are that actually you're likely to get much lower grades as you're not planning your time effectively. So you're going to find that you're quite often late. You're going to have a disturbed sleep, likely to be higher levels of stress and anxiety, less opportunities to relax and unwind. Assignments are going to be in late. And also you're going to find yourself relying on others more often. And as you go through the world of education and work, this is something you need to really control yourself and be independent. And then finally, you're going to start impacting the uh, relationships that you have with your teachers, colleagues and your friends and family. So that brings us to our first top time management tip, and that is to set your goals. Uh, it's really easy to get distracted with all the different things that are going on in your life, but actually making sure that you prioritise what you want from your life or your education or your work, that is a really vital thing to do. So make sure that you start to set yourself some goals to build up a clear picture of where you want to be in the next week, month, year, or 10 years. You want to make sure that these are smart goals so that they're specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time bound. That brings us on to procrastination, and procrastination is the act of postponing or delaying something that needs to be done. Uh, we all do procrastinate, but it's really vital to go through some of the things that you do within a day and have an idea of where you are procrastinating a little bit more than you need to be doing. So some of the top procrastinations that people do have is spe specifically in this day and age being contactable 24 hours a day on uh, social media and on their phones. Uh, although that is great for many things, when it comes to really concentrating on a piece of work, it can be really distracting. So you might want to look at turning your phone off when you've got a, a big piece of work to be done. Another one is putting things on like Netflix and other entertainment. Uh, a lot of people can multitask, but it's really important for you to be really honest with yourself um, to how well you can manage this. Lots of the time you can uh, be getting on with work as the TV's on and then something might spark your interest and it takes away your focus. So just be really honest with yourself to whether this is a good practice for you to have in your life. And that brings us on to time management tip number two. And where would any time management top tip be without discussing the four D's of time management? This is something that is used across the world of business and 
is a tried and trusted technique. The D stands for do it, defer it, drop it and delegate it. Using this system can be really useful into organising what items you need to make sure that you're prioritising. So there is another type of procrastination that is a little bit more sneaky and a little bit more subtle. These are the things that you do need to do, but maybe they're not as pressing. So potentially you've got a couple of little essays that are in in a couple of weeks um, and you might find yourself going to do these before you've got your essay due in at the end of the week because they're a little bit easier and a, bit, a little bit smaller to do. So these are still procrastinations because ultimately you're not getting them prioritised. Um, but using the 4D system, you can help manage it into your time better. So do it might be to do the big essay that you've got in du during this week. Defer it might be the smaller essays that you would quite happily do now, but actually probably a better time to wait and do them the following week once you've got this big piece of work done. Delegate it might be uh, involved in a group project where you can work as a team sharing out responsibilities and you might want to look at dropping out some of the Netflix for the course of that week whilst you focus on getting your essay done. And that brings us on to top tip number three, and that is to organise yourself. There's so many things that you can use out there, whether that be online or as a piece of stationery, such as a diary or a journal, or perhaps even just the notes section on your mobile phone. It really doesn't need to be rocket science. All you really need to do is do a mental run through the night before to make sure that you're gonna have everything you need to have a successful day. So these are things like perhaps thinking about whether you need to put your student ID in your bag or any forms and files. Check that your bag is sorted out and you've got enough money for lunch. Pack your bags the night before and make sure that you've got the clothing that you need to wear out the night before as well. And is there anything particular that you need on that day? Are you going on any trips or activities where you will need to bring something a little bit different than you normally would? So by doing that activity, you'll find that you'll start to take care of smaller tasks and you'll be much more prepared for the upcoming days. Going back and looking at our first top tip, which was to set a goal, this is also really useful in helping work towards good habits. So it's well worth thinking about the week that you've got coming up and having a little bit of a focus for that week. Have you got anything that involves a big assignment being due in? And what are the little steps that you can do to work towards this? An example of this might be that if you're stuck on an assignment, could you then the following day book in a meeting with your tutor to talk about how you can get past that? Top tip number four, plan ahead. It's all very well and good to have a list of to do things that you need to do, but a way to make this more efficient and effective is to actually put these into some sort of time scale and timetable. Many top businessmen say that their key to success is scheduling in their time. Um, this will mean that you can allocate specific time to specific activities, thus allowing you to be far more productive. So we're gonna look at how you might want to create a plan and we're gonna use the example of a student looking to complete a CV. So the first step in this process would be for the student to define a goal. What is it that they need to do? And we've already said that they want to create a CV. So that is to defining their goal. Step number two would be to set some sort of time frame for this. So they're going to set a deadline for when they would like this to be complete. So now they're going to list all the tasks that they need to complete to achieving this goal. So this might be listing through all the things that they need to do prior to the deadline date that they have set themselves. Once they've got this list, they're going to look through the list and see what is the priority. Now looking at this list, the student might find that actually the first step would be to book in a, an appointment with a careers advisor. So that is the priority that is gonna come up first. And then finally, what are the acts that this person is gonna to need to do on a daily basis to complete this goal? So planning in these activities and priorities and allocating it to specific days. And finally, we've got the knockout list. And the knockout list is something that you can use really easily um, to improve your time management and your effectiveness. Um, so every day you need to choose three different things that you want to get completed that are additional to the normal things that you need to do. So what you will find is completing these things uh, after, if you're doing a normal working week of five days, if you complete three activities over the course of five days, that's 15 tasks. 
Make sure that you're writing these down in a, in a journal to track your success. And then possibly at the end of the month, having a look through and seeing all of the additional things that you've completed will be really beneficial to you. And they'll be a big motivator into continuing to add these things into your daily life. So that's everything for time management from me. As always, if you would like to find out more resources from the Southern Universities Network, please check our website out on www.sunoutreach.org.